Okay. Oh, for fucks. Where are we going now? Back down to Leeway? Back down to Leeway. No, you're right here. Who are you? Oh, wait, you finally I returned. You. How was your journey to Dweyun Karst? Oh, it was painful. I see. Says the water user. Huh. Moon carver, mountain shaper, cloud retainer, conqueror of demons. Conqueror of demons. Okay. Some of these names have never come up in the intel the Fatui gets hold of. As a returning gift, I too have information for you. Information? What is that? Regarding the Archon's passing, the Liuek Chising's response really has given me food for thought. And They've announced that? that, as the true killer has not yet been found, they are not allowing anyone to pay their respects to the Exuvia. Oh, no. They've even gone so far as to try and cut off information. But with the right of dissension and all, even the Chising isn't able to keep a lid on things. Yeah, you know, a big event like this of their own god coming down to, you know, um, give them information and such. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to cut off that information. Exuvia? It's common knowledge in Liyue that Rex Lapis is also an Adeptus. I thought he was the god who created the, the Adeptus. The Geo Archon is also the god of contracts and is also known as the Exuvia, prime of the Adepti. Uh, 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 okay. The mighty and illuminated Adepti of today all signed contracts to protect Liu way back then. So I'm assuming they haven't signed a contract in ages. Guess that explains why they're all so focused on Liu's well-being. Yep, they're eternally bound by this contract. Must be hell for them. Naturally, they both have the responsibility and the aptitude for the job. If the ruling Qixing became unable to perform their duty properly, the Adepti have the right to take corrective action. Hmm, that does make sense. The Geo Archon's spirit has risen, so why would the Qixing hide his vessel? Truly suspicious. I don't oh, know. Oh, right! He's the whole reason we came here! Yeah. If the Liyue Qixing has locked up Exuvia and won't let anyone near, then our quest oh. to find the Seven is already over! Oh? You're trying to find the Seven? And just why might that be, pray tell? None of your business! <laughs> nice answer. A knight that gets duped by the Fatui would really be no knight at all now, would they? Huh. But, I can help you with that too, you know. You can go to hell with your chaos organization. Hmm. Really? Give me some time. Time to find someone. Find who? Someone who can help you break through this stalemate. Huh. <laughs> Truly fascinating. The harder they try to silence the situation, the greater the chaos that erupts. The more information which somehow manages to leak through the cracks. <laughs> if you want to be around to see it all come crashing down, Best you stay alive until we next meet, yes? Are you planning on planting a bomb? What? Okay. What do you mean, to be continued? No, not to be continued. Ugh, Lee Cuisine is inedible. Where are we going now? So, I'm assuming wait a few days? Okay, now what? Go into the bank! Welcome, friend of child. And congratulations on the first day of your illustrious career with the Fatui. I don't like you. I don't like you the Fatui. You sound remarkably sure of yourself. Remember, we are mere mortals. Our ideas are fluid like water. Only the Tsaritsa truly has a will as solid as the permafrost. Solid as the... Uh, you people don't make sense. But back to the matter at hand. Child tells me that he has upheld his end of your agreement. What agreement? Oh, the thing about him helping us find a guy? Correct. Hmm. 
Child promised he would find someone to break the stalemate, and the Harbingers do not break their promises lightly. Hmm. Ah, where is that guy anyway? I don't know. Maybe we should ask this convenient woman here. Child is currently at Leoli Pavilion. Leo. The... Oh, oh! Kaiden knows this rhyming. one. Rhyming? Do you? Ahem. There are two styles of cooking in Liyue, known as Li style and Yue style. They have been competing for centuries, but neither has emerged as the clear winner. I I I feel like uh, those are fighting styles. Not cooking style. The flagship restaurant of oh the my Lee God, style that text. is the Lily Pavilion. The owner especially chose to open the restaurant at Feiyuan Slope so they could compete face to face with the Shinyue Kiosk, which is the flagship restaurant of the Yue style. Is it now? Don't talk to Paimon like that. Anyway, Paimon's hungry. Let's get moving. Oh my god, how are you hungry? You're literally like, wh like, where is your stomach? You eat so much bloody food. Where's your stomach and how can it all fit? Oh, wait. Wait. Okay, this way. <laughs> I didn't see the minimap up in the top right corner. Uh, here. Uh, down to the ground. Hello there, mere child. Keep on forgetting, but your name is Child. Let's call you Waterman. Aquaman! And Permanent Dark Screen Man. I feel like you were insulted by that phrase. Uh, hello? Game? There uh -huh, we go. you made it. Yes, we did. It was merely, like, a few feet away. As promised, I found someone who can help you. Someone who can solve the mystery of why the Liyue Chi-Sing would hide the Geo Archon's vessel. That lip syncing was almost perfect. That was a surprise. So, where is he? In Liyue Pavilion? He certainly is. Come, I'll introduce you. And now we're back to the terrible I lip I took the syncing. liberty of setting up a business dinner, as per the Liyue custom. Oh, the business dinner. Do you ride business class on all flights, you posh bastard? Hey, you're stealing my paper. Welcome back, paper. sir. You honor us with your patronage. Mr. Zhongli is awaiting your arrival in the room you booked. Hmm. <sighs> Hi. <sighs> Hi. Hmm? Hello. Why do you also look like an unlockable character? Allow me to introduce Mr. Zhong Li, consultant to an organization known as Wang Sheng, and a trusted associate of the Fatui. You look like the br you look like the less like the the less cool version of Dai Luke, but I'm assuming instead of using fire, you're going to be using earth. So I'm assuming you're a new unlockable character because I haven't seen you before. Indeed, Wang Sheng's line of work can be sensitive at times. Let's sensitive. just say they understand when discretion is needed. Oh, and look at the poorly in rendered food. And we, the Fatui, have always been glad to do business with friends who walk in the shadows. Mm. Okay, Mr. Batman, <gasps> wannabe. Walk in the shadows? And Paimon, why don't you sit in a baby chair? It is an honor to meet you. I have heard tell of you from Mondstadt. Oh my god, why, like, why does this, like, animation from both of these look really sloppy? Discretion? Shadows? What is with the <sighs> eyes? Is Wangshan some kind of business involving dealing with people? If they are, I'm starting to stand immediately. Indeed. It is as you have guessed. Slavery! <sighs> the Wangshan Funeral Parlor organizes burials. We ensure oh. that those who pass on do so in peace. Oh, I I wasted a slavery joke on that. Huh? 
my 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 same reaction. <laughs> Did you think he was some sort of hired killer? No, I thought he was some kind of slave trader. Jesus fucking Christ, I went to the darkest place. The Fatui calls many such people friends, but the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor does not dabble in such business. Well, ostensibly. Uh, well, they are still... Uh, I shouldn't say too much. In any case, I brought you to meet Mr. Zhang Li because... Because, because why? I can bring you to see Rex Lapis's vessel. Oh, great vessel, so he's not dead. What? <laughs> Don't be so surprised. Sure, the Geo Archon's body has been squirreled away by order of the Tian Chuan Ning Guang. But first, let's hear what Mr. Zhang Li has to say, shall we? Rex Lapis <sighs> may be the prime of Adepti, but he is ultimately an Adeptus. Many Adepti have left us over the millennia. This is the inexorable trend. Oh, so it's a trend. So basically, when a new media app comes out, everyone jumps on it. Because uh, those people become really popular. When it eventually dies, they die with it. Great. The times have changed. You must have felt it too when you were at Jueyun Karst. As you have Definitely. seen, the time of the Adepti is ending, and the time oh, of mankind no. is slowly dawning. Oh, okay, okay, slowly dawning it is, because it's just bloody lit up. In years past, Liu's tradition was that a huge memorial service be held to mark the passing of every Adeptus. But this time, the Qixing have made no attempt whatsoever to respect this tradition. It is sacrilege. Maybe uh, they're in denial, but he's dead? Yeah, the killer hasn't even been caught yet. Deicide or not, mm. the concern of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is this. When the ritual to receive this god is so kingly, it is all the more egregious for his final send-off to go unattended to. Mm. Traveler. Child has told me a lot about you. Since you have had dealings with the Animo Archon, could I ask you to help me prepare the Geo Archon's last rites? Sure, well, why not? If you really think about it, we don't have any other choice. We really don't. Indeed, no amount of consideration can change this outcome. The Tianchuan Ning Guang has forbidden anyone from accessing Rex Lapis's vessel. Which, of course, you would need to access if you were to achieve your goal of meeting all of the seven. Yeah. Precisely. Only by participating in the rite of parting will you be able to see the form of Rex Lapis again. Mm. If we are agreed, come with me. We will speak of the details as we walk. As we walk, eh? So, I'm assuming all right. my mission. bridge building work here is done. Turned out well, didn't it? Let's hope I don't have to burn it. You can go if you want to. Don't worry about me. I might just have a few more drinks. And get acquainted with these things they call chopsticks in the meantime. Ah, oh, great. You sound like every person from the West. Not a fork? What is this weird device that they eat with? It's not a fork or a knife. Or even a spoon. You sound like everyone from the West. To be honest, that would be my first interaction with it, too. Where are we going? This way. Get on there, let's walk then, shall we? With an endless blank void. In darkness. After having experienced the land of the absentee Archon, Traveler, how does it feel to know that our Archon and Adepti are here all around you in Liyue? Mm. <laughs> I see. So you're that sort of person. It's not a bad thing. But I suppose you have yet to experience the substance of Liyue's 3,700 years of divinity. Divinity. Yeah, it just seems like, uh, but this god comes down once a year because he can't be bothered and this is his only thing he can do and he's just installed his 
clay puppets to run the place. I mean, it's a lot better than our wind god. God? Goddess? I'm, I'm not sure what his gender is. He's uh, <laughs> He, she is a, a very weird character. Organizing the rite of parting should prove to be an enlightening part of your travels. Enlightening! Is it also going to be as enlightening as that um, trick that you did in the, uh, the house, where you literally lit up the entire area? Liyue is the most prosperous of the Seven Nations, defended by deities and ruled by the Qixing. As such, the diplomatic maneuverings of the Fatui have gained no purchase here. Mm. Ningguang of the Qixing has always been on her guard against the Fatui. That is, in all likelihood, why Child wants to make use of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's connections. Huh. What would Child get out of us doing the rite of parting anyway? I don't know. I neither know nor do I wish to know. As far as I am concerned, the Fatui are merely financial sponsors. I only wish for Liyue's traditions to endure. Traditions are just expectations from dead people, but I see your point. These are the advanced funds that Child has provided. If you use them up, you can go to him to apply for any subsequent funding. Wow! Well then, let us be off. The first step in our preparations shall be to obtain some prize Noctilucus Jade worthy of a deity. Is that flowers? Assuming that's flowers. Coin purse. Okay. So, yeah. We're preparing a god's funeral. Okay then. I'm not sure how. How this is gonna play out, but I can see this going terribly. Hello there, madame. Oh, sir, Welcome sorry. to the Jade Mystery, my good friends. Would you like to try your luck betting on Jade? This could be your lucky day. It's cheap and it's fun, and who knows? You just might strike it rich. Strike, strike betting? it rich. No, no, we're here for... Um, what was it again? Oh my god. Nocta Lucas Jade, again. of radiant grade at the very least. Radiant grade, Nocta Lucas Jade? I see. You're not a tourist. My apologies. I have some here for your perusal. Perusal. What do you think? The Jade Mystery is an old name in the Jade business. Just look at that wonderful quality. Rex Lapis doesn't often bless us with such finery. Go on, pick whichever one you like. Okay. These three pieces really do look pretty. Not like the ones you usually dig up. Show me but them. How do we pick? Should we just grab one and go? Oh, Let's see what he wants. you want me to decide? That is yeah. fine as well. Go ahead. You, you, you seem like the person who would be best. At if this it were me, thing. the answer would be simple. Oh? And um, that would that? be... I'll take them all, boss. Okay. Oh, you act with such panache, good sir. I always knew you were not a I man of ordinary this. caliber. Oh, wait, wait, boss. That one didn't count. We need to discuss it again. Never mind. Hey, if we only need one for the ritual, aren't we wasting three times the Mora if we buy them all? Oh, Mora. Hmm. Yes, it is mm, as you money. say. I suppose I overlooked this particular aspect of the transaction. City of money. City of contracts. How did you manage to keep a business? Huh? How do you not think about Mora when buying things? If one must always consider Mora before acting, then in all things one is bound by Mora. We're purchasing something. 
Uh, what? All Mora is currency, but not all currency is Mora. Fair point. What? Sounds like something but a slave trader would say. Is this how the rich live? Yeah, pretty well, much. he knows a lot about big money, but not a lot about big savings. Ah. No need to waver. Even when I am constrained by Mora, I have ways of working around my limitations. Evaluating the quality of Noctilucus Jade is indeed very tricky. As crude ore, there is little difference in texture, lustrousness, and internal pattern between good and bad jade. Only after the item made using Noctilucus Jade has taken shape will you be able to see whether it is up to par or not. Uh, if you return to those crafty merchants to quibble, they will counter by saying that your crafting bench is to blame, or that your heat control was poor. Mm. Whoa! To think it's that easy to get cheated! Yep, that's how they managed to make businesses. But there push. is a way to truly evaluate this jade, and a true insider would know it. A What's fool that? sees the pointer. And misses the moon. Okay. What does that mean? If you point at the moon with your finger, a wise man knows that you are pointing at the moon, while a fool will only see the finger. The patterns, the facade, these are all the finger. Noctilucus, Noctilucus Jade oh. of excellent quality would have superior pyro affinity. In other words, the bluer and brighter the luster of the ore under high temperature, the higher its quality. So, let's get some fire users out here then. I have imparted the priceless secrets of the jade trade to you. Now, all that's left is to put it into practice. Priceless, huh? Hyman's just said that we might never be able to use it again. Oh, we will. I'm sure I'm gonna find a shit ton of them on the mountainside. We're back to buy some rocks, boss. But can you let us burn them first? Uh, burn them? You can't do that, my friends. If you were to do so, what would I have to sell? That would... Well... Fine. Hmm. As you wish, then. How about this? I can take a small sample of all three. I'll take a bit of a loss. Uh, we'll count it as a friendly gesture. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. I know the rules. As long as we can prove that it is good jade, you will not take a loss. Yeah. All right. Take these as samples. I've carved them off with a knife and tagged them to boot. Okay. Aren't these too thin? Even paper's thicker! No, even a bug's wings are thicker! These are almost see-through! Yep. Stingy? I've already been very generous. Any more and you may as well have my neck. I, w I, I would love to take your neck, but it doesn't seem there's much of one there. It seems like to, to be all fat. But wouldn't something this thin go poof if we held it to the fire? It can't be helped. Trying to deprive a merchant of his profits would be like forcing a ravenous wolf to vomit up the food in its stomach. Nonetheless, under the right conditions, these thin slices will serve. Good! What sort of conditions? Uh... While we add the high temperatures using pyro, we can use hydro to reinforce it from within. This way, the samples will not disintegrate immediately. Oh! Oh, sir, to think you were this learned. Thank you for your understanding. Strictly speaking, asking for samples when we have not yet agreed to purchase the goods is unfair. Trade in Liuer must be based upon fairness. Well, guess we just need to find a place to try this out. Mm. Oh, Paima remembers we once saw this big pot down at the Data Upa Gorge in the camp of the hilly churls from the Meaty Tribe. It's real sturdy and should be able to take the elemental reactions. 
Oh, I know where that was. Now, let's pack those samples up and make a move. I remember that actually. I, I did a quest there to open up so I could get something, um, so I could get something. I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember, it's all the way up here. I remember, I remember, it's all the way up here. I remember, I remember, it's all the way up here. It's all the way, it's all the way, it's all the way up here. I remember, I remember, it's all the way up here. It looks like the heli trolls are still using it. It's a very polite, but we gotta cut the line! Don't worry, I can take care of these quite easily. Disappear! Oh, Venti! Here we go! Come on then! Comboring her with fire is like Comboring. Is basic, basically what I'm saying. Comboring her with fire will make mass amounts of damage come out of the blue. Think you can get away? And then let's deal with you. Here we go, boys. Okay, so I need. Oh, of course. Die. Die, sir. Die. Okay, so I need an ice user. Hold on. So let's get an ice user out here. Uh, let's replace you. Let's replace you with. Um... Oh, I'm looking forward to this. You. There's still soup in here. These hilly trolls sure have big appetites. Well, the bandits. This the soup kind looks of like it could be used as our hydro elemental protection. Let's fire it up and begin our experiment. Okay, never mind then. I guess I don't need a nice character. We're ready to go! Paimon will help remember which one of the three is which. Okay. Use Pyro to keep making the pot hotter until we get the results we need. Okay. Mr. Zhongli said that the shinier and bluer the ore gets, the better it is. So, pay close attention. Okay, uh, change party. Change party to Xiaoling. Xiaoling. Just sharpen my spear! I honestly was curious, what, what would happen if you oh, didn't have a pyro uh, character? Um, yeah, I guess I don't put him down there. I guess I put him up here then. Nice and spicy! in their territory. No, it almost makes nice sense place. why they're here. With the wind. Think you can get away? Here we go. I wouldn't fight any faster. Could you stop dancing and make it like it's worse for me, sir? Ow. Ow. <laughs> Stop making barricades! Die now! You can also die now! And you can be the last one to die! You are so annoying! Please, die, you bunny rat! Bunny rat? 
funny looking motherfucker. Die! Shaolin, would you mind? Get them. Is that close enough? Oh, that's bright! Too bright! Yep, that's very bright. That was the third Nocta Lucas Jade, wasn't it? The third it was one. so much shinier than the rest. Let's go with that one. Number Let's three. Let's head back to the Jade Mystery to buy some jade, shall we? It's time to go and get the third one. Wait, wait. Hold on a minute. Boba, get them. Think I didn't see this? Really? No. So I guess I guess it I guess it is the third one. No. Oh, I thought there was gonna be like a hidden mission saying it was secretly the second one. But no, it is. That one. 